Oh, when I hold my phone, I'm over it too big. That's not nice. I don't like that one as much. I will not hold my phone. Welcome to another weekly weigh-in. Um, this is going to be my fourth weigh-in since I started this journey. So I thought I would recap a little bit, um, talk about what my long-term goals are, what my short-term goals are, where I'm at for this month so far, whether or not I hit my goals. So I would have just shown you uh, my weigh-in from the, this morning. Um, it I always step on the scale before I film it, just so it's not a surprise to me what comes up. Um, and then I will step off the scale, um, let it reset, and then I pick up the camera or the phone. And I just hold that down, like at the scale while I step back on. I realized that adds almost another pound, like a little less than a pound to my weight. And so, You'll see that I like set the phone down and then I weighed myself and then I showed the scale with the weight that was on there and it's less than what I was showing you at the beginning of the clip. So I will probably, I mean, I feel like I filmed myself enough times like stepping onto the scale and weighing <laughs> to show that I am like trying to keep this real, like I'm trying to be honest with it. Um, so for accountability purposes, I will probably just, um, step on the scale and then film the total so that I'm not adding weight. Cause it, it does like, that's a, a decent amount for what I'm trying to aim for. So I just want to make sure that I'm actually getting the correct amount and not adding to it. Um, my other option is to put the phone on a tripod and try to film it. So if anybody is like wanting me to do that for accountability purposes, leave a comment, let me know. But all the videos up until now, I've filmed my process of like stepping onto the scale and, and letting the scale settle to the weight that I am. I hope that that has shown that I am doing this correctly. I know there's a lot of doubt with people around weight loss. I just want to try to be really transparent on how things are going and what I'm doing. And if I fail, I fail. And I will say that, um, but I've been super motivated and I've been trying really hard to stay motivated. <laughs> and so I want to make sure the numbers are accurate. Um, so I have a couple of notes that I wrote down on my planner here, just so I can make sure I have my numbers straight and everything. Um, so I started off um, at the beginning of this month at 286.8. That's the highest weight that I have been, as far as I know, in my entire life. Um, there was a period of time where I didn't weigh myself for a really long time because I was struggling with my mental health and that was leading me to also put on weight and not take care of myself. Um, so there's a chance that I could have been around this weight then, but from my like knowledge and the weights that I've tried to take um before I think around like 278 was the highest until I weighed myself for this challenge that I'm that I've set for myself um I made a commitment to myself that I wanted to lose 100 pounds in a year so that means I would weigh about 186.8 pounds by August of next year. Um, obviously, I mean, you're, you're not going to be able to completely control how that goes, but that's just my long term, term goal, something for me to try and succeed at. And, you know, we're going to just kind of take that as it comes. Um, but in doing the math, I figured about eight pounds a month would get me there. And, <clears throat> 
I really didn't want to try and lose more than like a pound and a pound and a half to two pounds a week just so that I'm losing it as at a slower rate a healthy rate time for my um skin to adjust so I have less um baggy skin and stuff at the end um and then to be easier on my heart because I do have high blood pressure I don't take medication for it it's kind of like borderline um so I don't want to like damage myself trying to crash diet or you know something like that I'm trying to be healthy in this and not give myself further issues I enjoy food and I overeat obviously to get to the weight that I am and so I want to continue to enjoy food but do it in a way that is better for my body um so that's kind of my long-term goal is to lose the 100 pounds. Then I have a shorter term goal of losing 40 pounds by February. Um, I don't put your face in my plate, sir. Go get off the table. You're not supposed to be on the table. Thank you. Sorry, cats. Um, so I want to lose 40 pounds by February. I'm going on a cruise with my sister in February for my 40th birthday. She wanted us to go together on a cruise. Uh, super, super, super pumped about that. Never been on a cruise before, so I'm very excited. Um, but I do want to try to get in better shape by then. Um, stamina wise, because I don't want to have to be out of breath and not wanting to like go around and do things on the ship and stuff. Um, also size wise, I just fit better on airplanes in rooms when I'm a smaller person. Um, and so it will be more comfortable for me to be at a smaller weight. Um, so that's kind of the idea. So about eight pounds a month, about 40 pounds by February, about 100 pounds by August, right? Um, to be more specific about weights, last week you saw I was at 282.6 and that was a total loss of 4.2 pounds so far for the month. Um, I weighed in today, as you saw earlier in this video, at 279.7. If I'm looking down, I'm just checking my notebook here. I don't wanna get any of the numbers wrong. So at 279.7, that was another 2.9 pounds. That's my biggest loss so far this month, like in a week. Um, it was a little bit of a surprise to me. Uh, I didn't change a lot except for um, I was uh, eating less, I think, per day. So less calories um, because the week before I had started my monthly cycle and I was having like trouble getting full because somehow right before my period comes, I always just want to eat and eat and eat. And I'm not really that hungry. It's just like, I can't fill myself up. Like I just need it. <clears throat> so I think that was why I struggled last week. And then this week, my hormones have balanced back out. And I did um, a lot more like around the house. I stayed a lot busier. So I didn't really like have time to eat some of the time or like think about eating because I was distracted which was kind of nice in a way like not having to struggle with like trying to convince myself I didn't need to eat um so that it was it was a really good surprise I was very happy to see that number on the scale and so that takes me at the 279.7 to 7.1 pounds since my starting weight um, so we're right in that six to eight pound range that I wanted to be in for this month. And then of course there's, you know, a few more days left in the month for me. Um, if I do lose more, if not, that's fine. I feel like I made it. Um, anything is better than nothing, first of all. And I worked hard for it. I made sure I was tracking my food and my calories at least a little bit. I didn't go like every calorie tracked, but just kind of putting into an app what I was eating, roughly kind of keeping track of my macros and like staying under 100 grams of carbs per day. Um, and I think all of that helped give me the success that I got. Um, I'm super just like surprised that it was 
2.9 pounds. Like I wouldn't have guessed that, uh, that was how much, um, I will insert a couple of photos here of side by side. So the first one you'll see is, um, my week for like front and side profile to just see what it looks like at that, at, at this current weight. Then there will be a photo of the front from, um, like today, you'll notice my hair is the same, beside a picture from the very beginning. So the first week that I, I took, I didn't take one at day one, but I took one at week one. So it's week one's photo next to week four's photo. And you can tell a difference. Like my stomach is flatter. My back has gotten like, um, smaller. I don't, I don't know how to describe that. It's like, you can see better, like the curve of my buttocks <laughs> rather than it just all being one, like, uh, curve. I don't know. It, I don't know how to describe it, but the, from the front, you can tell I'm less wide. And then from the side profile, which is next, you can tell that my stomach has smoothed out some, I could tell when I got dressed to go to the movies last night, I put on a t-shirt and some running shorts and my clothes are already fitting differently. Like it's weird. haven't been able to tell a very big change in my chest yet. Usually when I lose weight, that's kind of where it comes from first is that area. Um, but that, I don't know. I've only had this experience a couple of other times and it was always like a different kind of like torturing d diet that I was torturing myself with. So I'm trying not to compare like what I'm doing now with other stuff because it feels different. I feel like I'm in a different mind space. Um, I feel like I'm in a different um, like universe. Like I'm not, I'm trying to take the toxic diet culture stuff out and just focus on feeding my body, but not to excess. <laughs> So that's where we're at. Um, I am going to keep this up through September, through October, through November. I will probably continue to post weekly weigh-in videos on Wednesdays. Um, my new uh, posting schedule announcement will come out tomorrow. And you can check that to see what other videos you can expect from me. But definitely a weekly weigh-in on Wednesday. Just so I can keep accountable. Keep everyone up to date who's curious about what's going on with me and where I'm at with that. I am proud of myself and I want to make sure that that feeling sticks around so that I don't get discouraged or get um, down on myself if, you know, it's not always saying what I wanted to say. Um, you know, you can weigh yourself one day and it'll be one thing and you can weigh yourself two days later and it's higher or lower. <laughs> And doesn't any of it make real sense. So that's why I'm trying to stick to this weekly weight because I feel like it's going to be more beneficial for me in the long run to see a steady progression down rather than weighing every day or something like that where it's going to be kind of hard to avoid fluctuations. Um, I mean, you can take a large poo and lose weight. So <laughs> I do always weigh myself first thing in the morning. I usually do it after like I've been up um, and gone to the bathroom and done my shower like right before I start getting dressed for the day. The reason the lights are usually off is because my husband is usually still sleeping in the bedroom when I'm there weighing myself. So I try to be quiet and I try to keep the lights off so I don't disturb him. I'm going to continue to use that as my pattern so that it's consistent and I know for sure like what the progress is looking like. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, I know at some point it might slow down for me and I'll just have to make some adjustments at that point to continue to meet my goals. Uh, but that's kind of what my channel is all about is like 
proving to myself that I can do this. Like I can do whatever I set my mind to. I can make a goal for myself and I can meet it. And I've let myself down a lot over the years. Wow, <laughs> that made me choke up a little. <laughs> <clears throat> sorry. Uh, but I have, I have let myself down a lot over the years and I really want to stop doing that. I'm going to turn 40 in January and it's time for me to take care of myself and love myself as much as I love and take care of the people around me. I don't know why it makes me emotional to talk about that. Like when I talk to my therapist, about this stuff, it also <laughs> makes me tear up. Um, but I was a very low priority for myself for a long time. And it feels good to, it feels good to make myself the priority. Anyway, I'm gonna stop doing this because I'm gonna get all emotional and, and red faced. Um, and I need to do some things before I have to go back to work. Um, but thank you for joining me today and thank you for, um, any encouragement that you can give and, um, leave a like or a comment if you want. Uh, we need to celebrate that I have been successful so far this month. Um, thanks and I hope your day is great.